my friend. It's it, it just perturbing how sure you are that the call is going to be picked. My job. The recipient is probably held up. In our days, we... To get Baba Otis Majabu by Flaco, dial star 811 star 936 hash. Skiza Nan Nation. Finding the truth in these uncertain times has become certain. Possibilities for business even more convenient with the Nation e-paper. To enjoy this and more, simply dial star 550 star 1 hash for daily nation and star 550 star 5 hash for business daily on your mobile phone and get 50% discount on the e-paper. Yes, for just 20 shillings each, the truth will find you and more possibilities right where you are. Dial star 550 star 1 hash for daily nation and star 550 star 5 hash for business daily today terms and conditions apply rashes again kiss kids diapers kiss kids no rashes kiss kids no rashes bye bye rashes buy diapers choose kiss kids the aerial guarantee Asante sana. Sasa, ni nini kingine ambacho unaweza kumfanyia msichana wetu? Kila kitu. Hata kufua nguo na aerial mpya. Basi, tuonye. Hey, sasa fanya haya madoa. Yawe sugu zaidi. Sasa tufue kwa kutumia sabuni yako na kutumia aerial mpya. Aerial, sasa inapatikana kwenye pakete mpya. Unaniamini sasa? Aerial huondoa madoa sugu kwa mosho mmoja. Ijaribu leo uamini. Sisi Kenyans, ah, we are always ready kuzunguka for bidana biashara. And now, Kenyans have Kada local and international courier service providers and new e-commerce platforms. The introduction of a national addressing system will fungua even stronger market links and leave no county behind. Mawasiliano kwetu, nguvu kwako. The Communications Authority of Kenya. Opening your world. The National Industrial Training Authority, NITA, under the Industrial Training Act, CAT 237, is mandated to conduct national trade testing. The national trade testing process is basically a competency-based assessment and certification process, which requires that all workers in the industry need to demonstrate their capacity to be able to deliver on specific skills that they have acquired it is true, we have been in business for over 20 years now, empowering Kenyans to own ideal and genuine properties. And yes, the biggest and the best urban residential development in Kiambu, a money rich, the place of peace, is taking shape. Let us show you what we have been up to. The Solomonic Gate is complete. The intelligent fountain of peace is up and running. The stone perimeter wall is complete, fully enhanced with razor wire for your security. The 100,000 liter capacity water tank is coming up. We also have the house designs and the title deeds for every plot. Invest in value. Call us today on 0790 300 300 or visit us at www.optiven.co.ke. Je, maumivu ya kichwa na kukosesha amani? Kaluma Strong utuliza maumivu ya kichwa, maumivu ya mwili na hata uondoa joto jingi mwilini. Kaluma Strong ina aspirin kama kiungo. Maumivu ya kizidi, muone daktari. This is NTV.
Hello and welcome to the broadcast. This is NTV Tonight, a check of the coronavirus cases. And globally, there are over 18.5 million infections, with the global death toll now at 700,000. Meanwhile, over 11.7 million people have recovered. And in Africa, we have over 974,000 cases of COVID-19 and over 20,000 deaths. In the US, over 4.8 million people have been infected, with over 159,000 having died from it. We'll take a look at Kenya's cases, but first, the day's highlights. Tonight... My count where you and I come from is a speaker was gaining, we are ready to lose a little of that money for Wajia to gain a bit of what they have lost. Senate postpones debate on contentious revenue sharing formula for a seventh time. The eyes have it. Also tonight, the numbers are still rising. 605 people have tested positive. <laughs> but some are still locked in a dangerous tango with death. Please protect yourself so that we don't overload our health facilities. Plus, Kimilili MP Didmus Baraza is walking a tight rope. He's in trouble for car sale fraud. And tunenda bali kushota, wenda kushota maji mtungi moja na kwenda kushota yo maji mwenda kupanga tena laini. The mirages under the searing heat taunt this parched community in Laikipia. But a mouth-watering prospect will soon save the women the long treks. NTV Tonight with Smriti Vidyarthi. My co-anchor tonight in sign language is David Agondoa. Thanks for joining us. For the seventh time in a month, the Senate has failed to agree on the way forward as regards the disputed revenue allocation and sharing formula. After a heated debate marked by passionate arguments from opposing sides, the motion was adjourned with some leaders pushing for negotiations instead. NTV senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Moravi with details of a deal that saw key players in the Senate allied to ODM leader Raila Odinga either abstain or vote in favor of adjournment. After countless efforts and chest thumping from two competing sides of the Senate and with no clear end in sight, it was time to loosen up on their stand and pursue talks aimed at a win-win situation. For us to appreciate this kind of conversation, I am requesting my colleagues, let's give dialogue one more chance. Let's adjourn this motion, Mr. Speaker, for us to have a conversation, Mr. Speaker, on how to find a way forward that, Mr. Speaker, can unite all of Senator us. Bogey. And with that, Murkomen implored the House to postpone debate and now sit at a round table. The adjournment was supported by 34 senators against 26. In a majoritarian situation, Mr. Speaker, the winner takes it all, but is it the way we want to go for this country? In a free, democratic country where everybody is equal before the law, we should never be talking about losers and gainers. When now we have a John, let us unite this country, let us not divide it. Because when we divide, we'll go down in history as a house which was controlled by a remote control outside. To an extent, those opposed to the Finance Committee formula view Tuesday's vote as a win as it now holds any cuts to about 18 counties that were expected to lose a share of revenue had the formula been adopted. My count where you and I come from, Mr. Speaker, was gaining 928 million. But we are ready to let go, to sit with other Kenyans and say we are ready to lose a little of that money for Wajia to gain a bit of what they have lost. The counties that are populous and the counties that are less populous must be seen as two feet walking our nation to progress and unity. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, the feet that is ahead, the foot that is ahead, must not feel uh, uh, proud or should not be proud. The foot that is behind should not feel ashamed because they know they keep on exchanging positions until they arrive at their destination, Mr. Speaker. 
It got so personal in the House that senators in their grandstanding and ditching party positions were looking at their political future and how their voting pattern will sit with the electorate. The stalemate is now threatening party unity in the House. We had a parliamentary group of Jubilee Party where we called each and every person, several members of Jubilee Party, including several who don't support the position of the party attended. I want to remind Dr. Ali attended, he opposed the party position, uh, Deputy Majority Leader attended, on Dulo. On you on did not attend order. that meeting. Senator. You refused to attend the parliamentary Senator group meeting. Yeah, it's a fact. Senator so Senator therefore, Senator. do not come order, to mislead order. the House. Do not order, come to mislead the House. Uongozi wa upande ule, wa walio wengi, ukiongozi wa nandugi yangu pugisio, ni ukweli kabisa kwa mba umefeli mtihani. Hawezi hiyo kazi. Na sisi kwa mba hati tunasema kitu wa machu hakiko sawa sawa, kiko sawa bispika. Na nashukuru kwa kumpatia na fasi. Kangata hawezi kukonvinsi hata, hata senator moja kwa hile upande wake, wawalio wengi, kurudi, pan, kurudi pande, kuenda pande yote. As one of the resolutions reached at at the home of Koto Secretary General Francis Atoli on Sunday, it is understood that Senator James Orengo is supposed to step in and help Senator Irungu Kangata resolve this matter in the week-long negotiations that will culminate in a deal to be presented on the floor of the House on Tuesday next week. Kennedy Muraidi, NTV in Nairobi County. All right, well, for the second week running, we will be focusing on the divisive formula on team coverage Wednesday with a closer look at the aspect of own source revenue generation in the county's conditional grants and the way forward after today's adjournment of the motion. Have a peek. One man, one vote, one shilling. We are getting it wrong when we, we think that we should have a formula to divide the money. Tunaona, tutawachana na Kenya sisi. We want to correct an injustice that most populous counties that have suffered. When governors get more money, the more they get, the more they waste. Government of county, I just say dear. Government of national, I just say dear. Hii maneno ya ugaaji wa pesa, inaenda inaingia mpaka BBI. We don't care, let BBI collapse. Money is everything to us. Upper Kenya, Kilampo, and Ushuru. Instead of always arguing how to use money, can we have a debate on how to generate resources? Team coverage Wednesday. Make sure you tune in tomorrow at 9 p.m. Now, let's have a look at the day's COVID 19 numbers. 605 more people have tested positive for the coronavirus disease out of a sample size of 4,547 tested. This brings the number of infections to 23,202. 582 of the new cases are Kenyan, while 27 are foreigners. An additional 587 people have been discharged from various hospitals and home-based care, bringing the total number of recoveries to 9,327. Six more patients have died, though, raising the death toll to 388. Nairobi County is still recording the highest number of new infections with 373, Kiambu 35, Migori 25, while Busia and Narok have 20 cases each. Kajado and Laikipia have 16 cases, while Nakuru has 15, Kakamega 12, Wasingishu 11, Machakos 10, and Mombasa 9. Apologies for that. 
Now, four suspects held in police cells in Moranga County have tested positive for COVID-19. The four had been arrested for flouting COVID-19 prevention guidelines. This comes on a day that the county recorded its first COVID-19-related death. Eunice Omolo has more. A reckless dance with deadly fate, a chance in total disregard of the preventive guidelines to avert further spread of the coronavirus in Moranga County. Four of their kind had earlier been arrested and detained, only to test positive for COVID-19 while in police custody. Uh, these were criminals that were arrested, one in Makuyu, two in Sabasaba, and one in Muranga. And uh, every time when a criminal is arrested, before they are taken to court or remand, it's a requirement that they go test for COVID. And when we tested them, the, the four of them tested positive and we have isolated them in the, in the cells because they are still criminals, we can't release them. County public health officials say the four will remain in custody isolation for treatment and arraigned upon recovery. Moranga County has also recorded its first COVID-19 related death, a 61-year-old man who collapsed and died on arrival to hospital. A man who came all the way from Kariobangi, and uh, he came home, stayed with his family for four days. Then he developed complications and he came to the hospital. He collapsed before he was treated and he died. But when we tested his family, they all turned positive. So, and we put them in isolation. Moranga County has recorded 75 cases of coronavirus. So far, 17 active cases are on management in various isolation facilities and hospitals. Please protect yourself so that we don't overload our health facilities. Authorities here are alarmed by the recklessness with which residents are going about their activities. Police officers in the county have also been cautioned against crowding remedies in the cells. Eunice Omolo, NTV. The government remains adamant that the country's healthcare system has not been strained beyond capacity by the coronavirus pandemic. The Emergency Response Committee also says mass testing is not a priority as of this moment and as such will carry on with targeted, targeted testing. Gina Kirori was at today's briefing on the COVID-19 situation. In the face of an escalating health crisis, the government insists everything is still within its control. Is the health sector collapsing? I don't think we have reached a point where we can say that. Reassuring words from the Chief Administrative Secretary, but words that may not reflect the truth of things on the ground. In Wasingishu County, four medical personnel have tested positive for the virus. Some medical personnel in the facility have also paid the price for asking for better working conditions and preventive measures. Nimepatiwa barua ambayo inaitwa suspension na ndio hii barua hiyo. Na ningetaka kuuliza tu national government kwamba tukiitisha haki ya mfanyikazi kutokana na janga hili la coronavirus. La kushangaza ni kwamba badala ya kuzingatia masharti yala ambayo national government imeweka. Badala yake ni kupatiana mabarua. Then there is a challenge of the country's testing capacity. The government maintains that mass testing is not a priority at the moment. Instead, targeted testing will continue. There is a lot of panic in the general public and everybody wants a test. Our priority mainly is the patient who presents with symptoms so that we are able to manage that patient appropriately, having known the appropriate diagnosis. This would then bring into question who exactly is the target in the targeted testing. Several reports of individuals in search of tests being turned away from some public and private facilities have been emerging. Gena Kirori, NTV. Elsewhere, Kimilili MP Didmus Barasa has been charged with defrauding a businessman of 450,000 shillings in an alleged fraudulent sale of a car. The court has released Barasa on a 100,000 shillings bail ahead of the mention later this month. Victor Kiprop reports that this is not the first time the legislator is in court because of a car. 
if it is. Without his trademark cap and before a court of law, Kimilili Member of Parliament Didmas Baraza appeared barely recognizable and somewhat uneasy. His restlessness, betrayed by consistent squirming on his seat, fixing the straps of his watch and even massaging himself. Nothing unexpected though of a man who is facing two counts of fraudulent disposition of mortgaged goods. Contrary to section 291 has read with section 36 of the penal code. Okay. The car is sold to businessman John Irungo Mwangi in 2017. A Toyota Hiace registration KBX 734E had been bought through a loan from Uwezo Microfinance Bank which was still yet to be cleared. Barasa denied the charges and through his lawyer John Haminwa asked to be released on a 20,000 shillings cash bail. Kajiado resident magistrate Bikishaloti, however, dismissed the request and released Mr. Barasa on a 100,000 shillings cash bail. <laughs> this is not Mr. Barasa's first appearance in court and because of a car either. In March, Barasa faced a bankruptcy suit after failing to pay a 4.2 million shillings debt owed to Smart Cars Limited and Car City Limited for a personal Toyota Land Cruiser vehicle that he purchased in 2017. Victor Kiprop, NTV. Kame the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, that's the EACC, has welcomed the ruling by an Environment and Lands Court, which cancelled title deeds of five companies that were fraudulently allocated more than 50 acres of land some 23 years ago. Now, the piece of land which belongs to the Met Department has been the subject of a protracted court battle for over a decade. Zainab Ismail has been working on that story and we'll bring you the details of that in just a moment. All right, we'll bring it to you after this break as we've got to take a breather at this point on NTV tonight. But with us and have a look at this dramatic footage. This was the moment a massive explosion shook Lebanon's capital Beirut just a few hours ago. The blast, believed to have occurred at the port, has uh, wounded a number of people and caused widespread destru destruction up to miles away. Local TV reports the incident took place in an area where firecrackers were stored. smartphone <laughs> 20 Bob Daily kwa mizi tisa. Biggest star, 544 hash. Kuona kama unafaulu kupata 4G Neon Repro inaokuja na screen kubwa ya kutazama video. Battery inayodumu. Space mingi ya kweka picha na videos. HD camera na apps zote za Google unazopenda. Sikuma beya smartphone hapa. Kao beya smartphone. Si hapo sabari kwa muni yako kapiza. You in the police. Yes, you. Dry throat, strep cells. Girl in the smoke with a raspy voice. Strep cells. Hello, in the downpour with a scratchy throat. Take strep cells. Get soothing relief for any throat irritation. Strep cells with its medicinal ingredients will heal the ham down to your throat from external factors. Strep cells. Strep cells for a dry, itchy, raspy, scratchy throat. It is true. We have been in business for over 20 years now, empowering Kenyans to own ideal and genuine properties. And yes, the biggest and the best urban residential development in Kiambu, a money-rich the place of peace, is taking shape. Let us show you what we have been up to. The Solomonic Gate is complete. 
the intelligent fountain of peace is up and running. The stone perimeter wall is complete, fully enhanced with razor wire for your security. The 100,000 litre capacity water tank is coming up. We also have the house designs and the title deeds for every plot. Invest in value. Call us today on 0790 300 300 or visit us at www.optiven.co.ke. Sensitivity pain fast with Sensodyne Rapid Action for clinically proven relief in 60 seconds. You need to watch your weight and that reduce fat in your meals and most importantly, check your weight. You're asking me to calm down while your ex is literally kicking me out of my own house. Welcome to this Air Slimming is Possible competition. The first is to complete a very simple task of running two kilometer race. What is going on here? Either she leaves or I leave. You choose. Come on, you at attack what are you doing? Thanks for staying with us. Let's bring you that story about the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission now. And the ACC has welcomed the ruling by an Environment and Lands Court, which cancelled title deeds of five companies that were fraudulently allocated more than 50 acres of land some 23 years ago. The piece of land which belongs to the Met Department has been the subject of a protracted court battle for over a decade now. Zainab Ismail has that story. It had taken the anti-graft body 11 years to recover this massive 53.4 acre piece of land which had been subdivided and shared among five companies back in 1997. The case came to the KSEC at that time Kenyan Corruption Commission and in 2009 the KSEC uh, filed a case for civil recovery before the environmental uh, uh, court. It was now a co court, uh, court case that is uh, a battle between the ESEC and uh, I would say the grabbers and the Commission of Land and some of his officers. The five companies allocated the piece of land are Vuran Industrial Credit Limited with 15.5 acres, Hillbro Properties Limited 9.9 .9 acres, Pamba Properties Limited 7.3 acres, Brentwood Traders Limited 9 acres, and Beacon Towers Limited 11.7 acres. They were all established between 1995 and 1997. But that's not all. The irony is that all those companies, the shareholding appears to be from two individuals. The two are identified as Kantibai Maganbai Patel, who had 99 shares, and Harish Ashbai Patel, who had one share. Kantibai died in 2007 and the parcel was inherited by his daughter, identified as Priti Bala Shah. In his ruling, Environment Court Judge Elijah Obaga held that the then Lands Commissioner Wilson Gashanja alienated the land which was not available for transfer as it belonged to the weatherman and that such power was only reserved for the president. Court records further note that former lands officer Jotham Kilimo testified that he was forced to approve the irregular transfer because he received orders from Gashanja and defying them would have been costly, he says. So he agreed to the irregular land transfer. The Met Department has its own plans, but now they were scared because they knew the land belongs to them, but they, they don't have the titles. And you know, we had, a, we had a problem before in government. Most of our government institutions did not have titles. The prime piece of land located in the industrial area of Mombasa Road still hosts two blocks, a transmission station, 14 masts and a generator room. We are glad that now this land will revert back to the Meteorological uh, Department of uh, the Government of Kenya. End of warning to land grabbers. We are telling those who have grabbed, we have a, we have a window for the ESCC. When we file a case against an individual or entity, we know very well that we have enough grounds for us to 
to argue our case before the court. Zainab Ismail, NTV. Now, water, perhaps the most precious commodity in the world. More so in these times of an infectious disease ravaging the world and whose first line of defense is hygiene. But for hundreds of families in Laikipia North, the privilege of clean, reliable sources of water is as distant a dream as the several kilometers they have to cover to get to the water point. But as Leila Mohammed reports, one such community in Laikipia may soon be lucky after more than four decades of suffering. The scorching sun illuminates the bare earth of Laikipia North. The cracks on the ground, evidence of the torrid conditions in this part of the country, the mention of a reliable source of clean water, is a bad joke here and has been for the last 40 years. We find Sarah Mayani taking the treacherous walk to the water point in Mlango village. It is a long, tedious journey, and was still, there is absolutely no guarantee that they will find the precious resource. But getting to the water point is just the first step. The women have to dig up the earth with bare hands to get to the water. Sometimes they wait for hours before the liquid springs up. Unaondoa sand, unatoa na kukiwa na kiangasi mingi, munaenda munafuata laini huko, mukishota na unashota hiyo mtungi moja. E, Bada ya kushota, unakuja na hiyo mtungi moja na mama kama uko nyumbani, umeacha kazi mingi, kazi mingi inapotea. Some kilometers away, we find another group of women in the trenches, quite literally. Consistent digging to get to water is leaving gaping holes everywhere. Back home, Mayani is doing her chores in the company of a friend. The single 20 litre jerry can she fetched has to cater for every need doing the dishes, watering the animals, cooking and drinking, and all else. So, Kazini Akshota to Maj, Nayo Maj, you Kikisha Itoshi. For four decades, this has been the life of the community here. Kutoka Hapa Mali to Nainda Kushota, Nim Palisaidi, Tuliansa 1980. Kuomba musada kwa sirikali tutengenesewe demu hapa kwa hii laga. But after decades of difficulty, there is hope. A partnership between the county government of Laikipia and World Vision, a non-governmental organization, is digging up fluid treasures hidden under the dry soil. To the pastoralist community, uh, they are in dire need of water and they travel very far to look for water. Once we make a water pan and we make it near, nearer to them, when we provide the water trough, they utilize the water through the water trough for their animals. For the community, this intervention wouldn't have come at a better time. I proposed a water pan of 30, 30 million liters and uh, this will be able to help the community access water during the, the five month dry period that the community experiences. It will also enable the community to conserve their ground, uh, their soil, because this area is highly prone to erosion. So we expect that this water pan will be able to retain some water and reduce the speed of runoff that causes erosion in this area. But until then, the women will keep taking the journey if they are to quench their thirst for the precious commodity. Leila Mohammed, NTV. Water relief indeed, something that those women so urgently need, especially during this time.
Now, calm is slowly returning to conflict-prone Nesut, Mariashoni and Ndoswa areas in the eastern Mao forest after another flare-up rocked the area which left five dead and scores injured. Leaders from the area have been holding peace talks between the two antagonizing communities. A session of series of talks to find a lasting solution to the sparks of ethnic antagonism in the Molo and Joro areas of the southern Mao forest. The Ogiek and Kipsigis communities living in Marioshoni and Nesut areas say lack of land titles, livestock theft and fear of eviction from the forest have been fueling the feud. <laughs> The latest clash left five people dead, almost a hundred injured, and more than three thousand displaced. Locals say a plan by the government to reclaim part of the encroached forest land has also triggered the animosity. Political leaders also stand accused of fanning the flames. Several homes and business were touched and life brought to a near standstill. Tens of families that fled their homes for fear of an attack sought refuge at local schools. The government is now warning the communities against violence. Nayoma Sampao, NTV. All right, now workers and businesses defaulted on loans worth 30 billion shillings in the four months to June when Kenya imposed stringent measures to contain the spread of the coronavirus. And data from the Central Bank of Kenya reveals that non-performing loans rose to 379.9 billion shillings in June, up from 349.9 billion at the end of February. For this and much more business news, get your copy of the Business Daily tomorrow. Well, the business news is coming up next with Julian Amboko, but check this out. The highlight of Vienna's annual ball season, that is it. It took place back in February and it was watched by some 5,000 people in the lavish state opera building. And uh, about 2 million people watched on television. To participate, dancers had to make it through the ball's rigorous selection process, the foremost requirement being mastery of the Viennese waltz. What a sight. to improve toddler behavior. Show your love. Make sure your displays of affection for your child outnumber any consequences or punishment. Prioritize rules. Rather than overloading your child with rules from the onset, prioritize those geared towards safety first. Kiss kids diapers. Kiss kids, no rashes. Kiss kids, no rashes. Bye-bye rashes. Buy diapers. Choose kiss kids. Sona moja imetengenezwa kwa njia speciali ili kupambana na maumivu kwa haraka. Sona moja ina aspirin kama kiungo. Sona moja kitulizo kamili. Maumivu ya kizidi pata ushauri wa daktari. For a better tomorrow, don't forget to do the 1 2 3 with Colgate every night. Dovo flowers are fortified with vitamins and minerals to provide wholesome goodness for the whole family. 
Dovu All Purpose Flour makes the most delicious chapatis, mandazis, and all other pastries. Dovu is readily available at your nearest shop. Dovu Tosha. and more Christian music only on Angaza Music. Get Angaza Music for 10 shillings daily plus 50 MB data bundle. Dial star 544 hash then select option 6 on your Safaricom line. Angaza Music. Baraka Mkono. <laughs> It is time to get down to business. Welcome, I am Julian Amboko. National flag carrier Kenya Airways has secured moratorium on loan repayment for a period of between 6 and 12 months as the airline seeks to prop its financial position. According to a financial technical report from the airline dated July 13, 2020, Kenya Airways faces a monthly loan servicing bill of about 850 million shillings, hence necessitating engagement with creditors for more favorable terms to tide through the present crisis. Kenya Airways has also secured deferment of lease on rentals for a period of between three months and six months as it undertakes aggressive crash, cash preservation rather in the face of depressed revenues due to the adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Kenya Airways resumed international flights on Saturday 1st of August after three months of suspended operations due to a government directive in light of COVID-19. An LL construction work for the Liwatoni suspension bridge in Mombasa has started. The 1.7 billion shilling pedestrian bridge will be constructed by the China Road and Bridge Corporation and is expected to be complete within the next few months. This project is expected to end the perennial traffic snarlaps at the channel. Our coast based reporter Kevin Mutai with the details. The 534-meter-long suspension bridge will be a breakthrough for residents operating between the island and the south coast. The construction will start in Liwatoni and terminate at Puma area in Likoni. The 1.7 billion shilling project has been designed in a way that the suspension cables will have an allowance of 150 meters at the middle of the channel where hydraulic decks will be installed to allow cargo ships dock at the port of Bombasa. The floating bridge is designed for pedestrians only and is expected to end the perennial traffic jam at the Likoni crossing channel. Thousands of commuters are occasionally stranded at the channel, especially during peak hours. We have a timeline as a subcontractors. We are supposed to do this project within one month, uh, meaning that our staffs and our, our partners, we are going to uh, ban uh, night oil to ensure that we implement the project uh, as required. Construction works for the causeway and a holding area is set to be complete by the end of this month. The bridge will also have guardrails that will be installed on either side of the deck to ensure pedestrian safety. Uh, there are issues to do with the land or acquisition but it has been sorted out, that's why we are allowed. The bridge is also expected to help the government in enhancing COVID-19 safety guidelines, such as social distancing, which is hard to implement at the ferry crossing channel. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa. And moving on to the capital markets, investors at the Nairobi Securities Exchange could soon be able to lend and borrow securities between parties, a move which widens the offering available for investor participation in the capital markets. The Central Depository and Settlement Corporation, CDSC, this morning rolled out the securities lending and borrowing framework, which will be in pilot phase for the next 90 days. According to the framework, investors who seek to borrow securities will need to provide collateral amounting, amounting rather to 100% of the value of the borrowed securities, which will be held by the CDSC. During the pilot phase, the lending and borrowing will only be applicable to the counters within the NSE 20 share index. We are launching an equities platform at the moment. Um, we hope that in future there will be scope for um, fixed income securities and particularly government treasuries to also. Um, 
participate in a platform such as this one. This is a very big achievement, something that we'd like to see uh, take off very well. We've put in place measures and, and rules uh, that allow all this to happen. And our aspiration is to see even if we can have two to three times of our daily turnover coming out of this particular uh, framework. And let's close on an agriculture note. More than 73,000 small-scale maize farmers in 22 counties are set to benefit from a donation of fertilizer from Yara International in a plan aimed at cushioning the country against the disruptive effects of COVID-19 on food security. Distribution for the fertilizer begins next week with each farmer expected to receive three bags of fertilizer that will help enhance maize production during the August to October season. The farmers are required to register via a USSD code, a platform through which they will also receive other support such as information on good agricultural practices to improve their yield. We believe the donation of fertilizer will spur productivity that will feed one million people for one full year. So we contribute in saving lives. This is a very tough times. We would really like to get this fertilizer to the smallholder, vulnerable groups, so that they can produce food, not only for themselves, but also have food that will come in into the circulation so that we have food uh, for the rest, for the next 12 months, which we believe this pandemic will even get worse. Uh, but it's, if it gets worse, at least, we have sufficient food coming into, into the system. And that takes us to the close of business. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. Pata smartphone mpia kuanzia 20 bob daily pekee ukilipa mdogo mdogo. Weka down payment ya elfu moja. Lipa kuanzia 20 bob daily kwa mizitisa. Piga star 544 hash kuona kama unafaulu kupata 4G neon ray pro. Siapo sabari kwa muni yako kapiza. Parenting is all about learning. When to be tough and when to be gentle. Tough. Gentle. But when it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Hmm, tough call. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. <laughs> Let's see what they're developing right now. Morphix really pants with anatomic fit technology. New Morphix pants, an invention from babies for babies. You should also try Morphix. a blessed life get this and more christian music only on angaza music africa's first exclusive gospel service in addition to music get your best bible stories preachings and devotionals church services dj mixes and more get angaza music for 10 shillings daily plus 50 mb data bundle Dial star 544 hash, then select option 6 on your Safaricom line. Angaza Music, Baraka Mkononi. Thanks for staying with us. As the world battles the COVID-19 disease among humans, another strain of the coronavirus has been detected in animals in Marsabit County. Public health officials and local administrators say the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, that's MERS, poses no major risk to humans but has killed over 200 camels. Our regional correspondent, Mamo Ali, has more. Marsavit County Public Health officials are sounding the alarm over the rapid spread of a rare disease called Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, 
which has killed at least 200 camels in Yagara, North Horsab County. This camel coronavirus has been found within the camel population and three persons, human, who are handling the camel have also been found to be having the coronavirus. The camel one, the mask of E. But they were all in good state. Tamia zaidi miambili imerupetua wa mikufa. Na dalili ya hii ugonjwa, ni kuwa hii gamia nakuwa na kikosi, alafu hizi life notes, hizi mbili zinafura, zinafura, na after some few days, inakufa. The public health officials say the strain of coronavirus poses no threat to human life, but many here are worried, especially due to the consumption of camel products. Wezi sema tuko, tuko, tuko safe na mna hivo, na lazima tuangalia pia afya ya mifugo yetu. Tukisikia kwa mba ngamea yetu hiko na corona, tunashituka sana. Sabu tunasikia corona imeanzia China, imeenda kwa kote na imeenda kila pali, sa imeengia Kenya. So, tukiambiwa sasa corona imepatikana kwa, kwa, kwa ngamia yetu enye, sisi tunafuga. Tuko na hovu sana kwa sabu hiyo, hiyo ngamia kikufa, tunakula tu hiyo nyama. Alafu, tunagopa sasa tutambukizwa uh, na hiyo corona. The World Health Organization says the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome is a viral respiratory disease first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. WHO further says the consumption of raw or uncooked animal products like camel milk and meat poses a high risk of transmissions to humans. Mamo Ali, NTV, Marsabit. We are taking another break on NTV tonight and as we do, have a look at how Switzerland gave hope to its people. Visual artist Jerry Hofstetter projected messages on the Matterhorn, that's Switzerland's iconic mountain, to support people confronted with the coronavirus. The messages include hope, stay home and solidarity. And of course, to those affected here in Kenya, a reminder to stay safe and support those affected. The sports news is coming up after this break. Various institutions have reported over 800 million units of unclaimed shares among other assets. To find out if you are an owner or beneficiary, dial star 361 hash or visit www.ufaa.go.ke. From far with you, mm. I even gifted you a magnificent house. Rosa, mm. it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. Please help me. When it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. It is true, we have been in business for over 20 years now, empowering Kenyans to own ideal and genuine properties. And yes, the biggest and the best urban residential development in Kiambu, a money rich, the place of peace, is taking shape. Let us show you what we have been up to. The Solomonic Gate is complete. The intelligent fountain of peace is up and running. The stone perimeter wall is complete, fully enhanced with razor wire for your security. The 100,000 liter capacity water tank is coming up. We also have the house designs and the title deeds for every plot. Invest in value. Call us today on 0790-300-300 or visit us at www.optiven.co.ke.
Finding the truth in these uncertain times has become certain. Possibilities for business even more convenient with the Nation e-paper. To enjoy this and more, simply dial star 550 star 1 hash for daily nation and star 550 star 5 hash for business daily on your mobile phone and get 50% discount on the e-paper. Yes, for just 20 shillings each, the truth will find you and more possibilities right where you are. Dial star 550 star 1 hash for daily nation and star 550 star 5 hash for business daily today terms and conditions apply my job my friend as you wait for the call my friend is it, it just perturbing how was where you are that the call is going to be picked my job the recipient is probably held up in our days we to get baba otis majabu by Flaco, dial star 811 star 936 hash, skiza non nation. You need to watch your weight and that reduce fat in your meals and most importantly, check your weight. You're asking me to calm down while your ex is literally kicking me out of my own house. Welcome to this air slimming is possible competition. The task is to complete a very simple task of running two kilometer race. What is going on here? Either she leaves or I leave. You choose. Come on, you at attack what are you Welcome to NTV Sport. I'm Watson Karuma. Now the Doha Diamond League rescheduled to the 25th of September. The Wanda Diamond League announced the additional changes to the 2020 calendar today, moving the Doha event from the 9th of we October. Doha is the traditional season opener, but was rescheduled for, from its April date due to... FKF is yet to decide on the fate of its top-tier national competition, which produces Kenya's representative to the CAF Confederations Cup competition. The Confederation of African Football, that is CAF, is yet to give a deadline for submission of which clubs will compete in the continent of football in the 2020 21 season. The FKF Betway Cup was cut short at the round of 16 stage where only three matches had been played. Kariubangi Sharks, FC Leopards and Ulinzi Stars had sailed through to the quarters. Bandari are the defending champions in the FKF Cup competition. Now, I don't know why any football player will do this, but players who deliberately cough at other players or match officials will be red carded according to football's rule makers and the Football Association. The International Football Association Board has said that such an offence falls within using offensive, uh, insulting or abusive language and or gestures, quote unquote. The referee has to make a judgment about the true nature of the offence. The guidance comes amid the coronavirus pandemic. There is no written guidance for the Premier League and it will be down to the referee's discretion as to the punishment. Now, Brentford is currently playing Fulham at Wembley in the championship playoff final. The winner between the West London rivals who are separated by just four miles will be promoted to the Premier League next season. Fulham are attempting to return to the top flight, having been relegated last season, while Brentford are chasing a place in the Premier League. For
Well, that's all we have for you on NTV tonight. Thanks ever so much for joining us as always. Our sign language interpreter tonight has been David Agondoa. I'm Smriti Vidyalthi. Have yourselves a good night and remember to stay safe. I'll be on at one o'clock tomorrow. See you then. This is NTV. I help women find independence by training them in fish farming. It's tough on my back, joints, and can cause headaches. Panadol Extra relieves multiple types of pain. If symptoms persist, seek medical advice. Pata! 50% extra credo bila expiry. Ya kupiga na kuwe SMS across networks. Piga star 444 star scratch card pin hash. Na kama ni Mpesa star 444 star 2 hash. Safaricom for you. You need to watch your weight and that reduce fat in your meals and most importantly check your weight. You're asking me to calm down what your ex is literally kicking me out of my own house. Welcome to this year Slimming is Possible competition. The first task is to complete a very simple task of running two kilometer race. What is going on here? Either she leaves or I leave. You choose. Lisa, my darling, you know that I will never forget you. But life goes on. I think the time has come to give myself another chance to be happy.